Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite oil candles. They can be made very quick, they have an eternal wick, and they burn vegetable oil, so they're very safe. Let's get going. Let's get started with this candle. I'm actually going to build it in a tuna can. I've already taken the label off it, trying to save time for you. So you're going to need a tuna can and you're going to need some vegetable oil. And this little thing here is one of those cement braces. What do I mean by that? When you need to drill something into concrete, you would drill a hole, you would put this in, and then you would screw this in here. And if you look at the legs as I'm doing this, see how they're starting to open up? Isn't that cool? But we're going to be doing that, but we're going to be opening them on purpose. So, you need to get one of these. And a lot of hardware stores will have them. There's different sizes. This one here is two and a half inches long. It basically opens up into four pieces. Let me go ahead and get this here, open it up. That's probably the hardest part of doing this whole thing. It opens up into four little legs. See that? So it, it's kind of a, I believe they call it a cement anchor. And there's all different kinds. You want to get the metal ones. Isn't that cool looking? That's what it looks like opened up. That's what it looks like closed. And it usually comes with the screw with it. That's a two and a half inch. All right. You can get bigger if you want, but this seems to fit perfectly. And you're going to need some carbon felt. Carbon felt is a fireproof felt. Let me show you what I mean. Are you ready? So it makes a great wick because it won't burn. It's a permanent wick. See, look, you see smoke coming up and everything. It's getting really hot, but it's not going on fire. The oil or whatever fuel is what burns. And this gets so hot that it wicks up the oil from the bottom. So as long as you just keep on putting oil in your can, and that oil will burn for a long time. So when it starts getting low, just put some more in. And the oil isn't directly flammable. So even if the wick fell in the oil for a few seconds or whatever, it's not going to ignite the oil. So isn't that great? It's one of the safest ones that I've seen. So here's how we do it. First of all, I'm going to take this thing, the anchor, and I'm going to put it in here so it meets all four edges. So what I need to do is spread it out a little bit more. And you want to make it so it's level. So that's going to hit there. See how it's nice and level now? And it fits in. Like I said, this is a very easy build. It goes together real, real quickly. <laughs> real quickly. And all you need to do is cut some carbon felt. Now the carbon felt is going to go through that hole. You don't want it too tight because it's going to be wicking it up, up the, up the fuel. But you don't want it so loose that it falls back in the hole. So I'm going to make it about maybe twice the width of the hole. There we go. So I can kind of roll it and pull it right through. Now how long do I want it? Well, long enough because you're going to use it for a long time. <laughs> a little bad humor there, I know. So let's see, I'm having it long enough to come out the top, probably about yay much, that's my measurement. This will be sitting in there, and that's actually probably a little too long. Yeah, let me cut it down a bit. But I don't want to cut it too, it's always easier to cut it off rather than to add to it, so let's just leave it like that for now. So I'm going to roll this, see if I can roll it so it gets into the hole, and pull it through the other end. Can you see what I'm doing here? Just about like that. Isn't that beautiful? It's all done! Now all you do is take some vegetable oil. Remove this to the side. Put the oil in there. I fill it about half to three quarters of the way if you want to let it burn all day long. Now I've only burnt these for like a day or two, uh, well, actually a day at a time. So I don't know how long it'll burn. Some people say, well it burned for six days. 
I don't suggest that you burn anything for six days, even if it's a power outage, unless you're going to be there all the time. I think when you're in a power outage and you need light or heat, you want to be observing anything that has open flames. Okay, so as with anything, what you want to do with this is you want to make sure you have a smoke alarm. I have one right up here, a carbon monoxide detector and a fire extinguisher, which now I have mine hanging over there on the door. It was, it was always moving it around. Now you want to make sure you have enough oil to get it going. So I'm actually dumping the, the top part in the oil because the felt's going to have to be saturated and it needs to be soaked up. I probably should have put it on. Hopefully it's going to soak up there. Okay. Now I'm going to take it over there to light it because like I said, I have a smoke alarm right above here and this will smoke it up for us. The felt doesn't burn. However, sometimes it has particles on it and a little fuzz on it that does burn off. Once that's burned off, it's, it's okay, but the oil will initially start to burn. So I'm going to bring it over there so you can see what it looks like. Matter of fact, let's make it really pretty and we're going to put it on top of this one. How's that? Huh? Ooh, let's go see. Okay, let's take a look and see how it goes. Now it's carbon felt. So it is going to take a little while to light up. And like I said, the vegetable oil isn't real flammable. So it takes a little while to get there. And what happens is, as everything gets warm, as it heats up, it's going to start to wick up the oil from inside the can. So it's a permanent wick, so you're not going to have to change the wick at all. And you can see it's a pretty good flame right now. What I've been doing is I've been adjusting it. You can pull the flame down, the uh, felt down a little bit if you have too much of a flame. And if you don't have enough, you can pull it up a little bit. Okay, your, this is your candle adjuster. <laughs> Does not come with a candle. So, before you start adjusting it though, let it burn for a while. It's going to burn off a lot of the oil. Let it catch so it's drawing it from the bottom. So it might kind of almost go out but eventually it'll grab that and it'll start going. But the beauty of it, it just keep on going all day long. And I don't know if you can see it all. See, I'm grabbing the felt here. And this is how I pull it down. I'm pulling it down a little bit because there's too much, too much wick above it. Or another thing you can do, if there's too much wick, is just blow it out. And, oops, and, then, and then adjust your wick. You can trim it or whatever you want, then put it back in and light it up again. See how much easier it lights up the second time? But all the smoke and stuff is going to settle down and it'll burn a lot cleaner. In fact, I'm going to do a little time lapse. I'm going to let a few minutes go by until the smoke is gone and I'm going to bring it right back here. Okay? <music> And here we are right back and you see how the smoke has gone down there's virtually no smoke at all you get a nice steady flame and it'll pretty much stay like this all day long or until you blow it out and with this it's not one of those things that you have to put a can over to suffocate it because it's not like using denatured alcohol we have all these fumes burning you're just burning the oil so I hope you enjoyed this build it's something that's very easy. You can build it very quick. It's very safe. And you can even make it a project to build with your children, your grandchildren. So be sure to share this and subscribe. Subscribing doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps my channel. I'm not going to beg, but please. <laughs> so with that, I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.